Hi everyone, how are you doing? How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hello, how are you all? Good evening. Thank you, bye. Good Great. Evening. Good to hear that you are fine, Luis. Excellent. Teacher, all right. Yes. Today is what? Today is what? What happened on it? Today is Wellness Day. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, everyone, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. I hope that even though it's raining, uh, you are safe and sound, right? Es un placer verlos a todos. Espero que a pesar de que está lloviendo, pues todos estén muy bien. All right. So today we're going to continue working on section four. Whose genes are these? All right. We are officially in class number 10. All right. Oficialmente esta es la clase 10. Con estas solo les harían falta seis clasecitas and that's it. All right. So let's get started. You might remember that yesterday we were working on a vocabulary, right? De seguro ustedes recuerdan que ayer estuvimos trabajando en un vocabulario que era en relación a a clothes vocabulary. It was clothes for leisure and clothes for work. So let's check if you remember that vocabulary. Let's get started with this. So we have clothes for work and clothes for leisure. You might have practiced yesterday after, after the class. De seguro algunos practicaron su vocabulary después de, de ayer, right? Después de la clase de ayer. Así que solo voy a, a escuchar a los que no pasaron ayer, que en todo caso sería, um, let me check. We have Evelyn Flores. Can you please start with the clothes for work vocabulary? Good, good evening. Good evening. Clothes for work. Shirt, tie, belt, coat, shoes, jacket, pants, suit, raincoat, dress, high heels, skirt, scarf, blouse. All right, repeat after me, suit. Suit. Sí, en el caso cuando tenemos jacket and pants together, estas dos hacen un suit, un traje, all right? Thank you so much, Evelyn. Let's go with the next one, which it is, which is, let me check. Jackie, Jackie, tell me the clothes for leisure, please. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Um, shirt, tie, belt, clothes jacket. for leisure, clothes for leisure, ah, uh, leisure, um, hat, square, lowest, jeans, t shirt, cap, short, socks, sneakers, boots. Um, it's green sweet and pajamas. Okay, repeat after me, Jackie. Sweater? Mm -hmm. Square? No, no me pronuncie la S antes. Solo sería sweater. Sweater. Yes, perfect. Um, sweater. Es sweater. Green. Gloves. Gloves. It's very good. Uh, la otra creo que era pijamas. Pijamas, sí. Swimsuits. Swimsuits. No, si me dice sweets, me está diciendo dulces. dulces. Ahí me está diciendo nadar dulces, right? And it makes no sense, y no tiene sentido. Entonces uh -huh. sería swimsuits. Swimsuits. Yes, perfect. Swimsuits. Yes. You may continue, please. Or you were finished. Finished. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's check the rest of the people passed yesterday. So let's move on with the following. 
we have a conversation. It's a disaster. So I'm going to check the platform and I'm going to play the video for you. Okay, let me just look for it. Okay, please be patient because I don't know what's going on with the internet, but it's not working that well. So let's check. I'm gonna share it with you right now. Here we go. Let's pay attention to the pronunciation mostly. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. Okay, so let's go everyone and let's practice this conversation. You might notice that this conversation actually, it has a lot of um, exclamation mark. Podrán notar que tiene bastantes signos de exclamación y también signos de pregunta, de conversation. That's why I played the video. Para ello puse el video, eh, también yo lo voy a hacer ahorita. So I hope that you respect the punctuation marks. Así que quiero pedirles, ya estamos en la clase número 10. A estas alturas todos tendrían que haber aprendido cómo respetar los punctuation marks when we are talking, all right? When we are making a conversation. So let's check. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine, sorry. Okay, so let's check. Uh, do I have any volunteers to practice with me? Voluntario que quiere practicar conmigo en la conversación para darle una vez más la demostración. Perfect, Miguel. So you are Julie and Pat. Here we go. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Repeat, here's a light blue blouse. Here, a light blue blouse. No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our Elliot's are light blue. Repeat, all our clothes. All our clothes. 
Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mean. Sorry. Perfect, Miguel. Thank you. Bravo. Very good. Uh, just repeat. Mine. They are mine. They are mine. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent, Miguel. Muy buena pronunciation. Now, let's make the pairs. Let me have a... Uh, Manuel Hernandez, you are Paz, and Luis Rivas, you are Julie. Action. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color it is? It's, it's white. Hair light blue blouse, it is yours? No, it is not mine. White. It it is mine. It's a disaster. The sister. Oh, oh no. All, all our clothes are light blue. It is a problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. That was funny. Good job. That was entertainment, and at the same time, I was able to listen to your fluency. All right. In Manuel's case, a great, great job, Manuel, because you have improved a lot. Luis, you already have some experience, I feel, because you were pretty good since the beginning for your pronunciation, right? But we still need to practice some words. Uh, Manuel, repeat after me. Great. Great. Sí, recuerde, esta palabra siempre me la dicen como great, pero es great. Justamente great, great. como está escrita, great. Great. Y en el caso de Luis, Luis, recuerde poner primero el subject pronoun y luego, perdón, recuerde poner primero en las preguntas el verb to be y luego el subject pronoun. For example, you said, por ejemplo, usted mencionó, what color it is? Y la pregunta no está formulada así, la pregunta está... What color is it, right? That's the only thing that we need to practice. Eso sería lo único, Luis, all right? Perfect, thank you so much, both of you, congratulations. Let's move on to the next thank page. You. Let me have um, David Rosales, you are Path. Evelyn Flores, you are, do we have Evelyn? Yes, yes I, I hear. I'm here. Great. You are Julie. Action. Okay. Okay. I am Julie or Pat? You you are Julie. David okay. Rosales es Pat, pero no se le escucha el audio, David. <coughs> si tiene abierto el micrófono, pero no se le escucha el audio. Okay, tal vez en lo que chequea el audio, David. Let's have someone else. Vamos a tener a Mario Molina entonces como Pat. Action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. It, is it yours? No, it is not mine. Wait, it's mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, thank mine, sorry. Bravo, perfect, excellent, congrats. Los felicito a ambos, very good. Uh, intonation was on level, fluency was on level, and overall pronunciation was great, all right? Eh, tome en cuenta tres cosas, la fluidez con la que hablan, la entonación y la pronunciación, y esas tres las cumplieron. <laughs> e inclusive Mario, aprecio mucho que a veces Eh, podemos sentir que no, que eh, teacher, mi tono de voz es ronco, ¿verdad? Entonces yo no puedo, pero lo hizo perfecto, right Dio la entonación y el tono de voz en realidad no tiene que ver nada con los signos de, de exclamación o los 
o los question marks y lo realizó muy bien. That's great, thank you. David, let me check if your microphone is working. Ahora me escuchan. Yes, we hear you. Sí, okay. Clear and loud. Now, we are having David Rosales, you are Pat. Kevin, Daniel, you are Julie. Action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue. No, sorry. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, are our clothes, are you like blue? Where's the problem? Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? You, they're mine, sorry. <laughs> Excellent, bravo, thank you so much. All right, so in Kevin's case, that was like you. <laughs> But it's actually, oh, they are mine, sorry. But what was perfect, thank you guys. You show off a lot in this one. Great job, shout out to you. All right, cuando escuchen que yo diga shout out to you es como una felicitación directa a ustedes, all right? Usualmente se utiliza esa frase, shout out uh, to this person, shout out to, to these people, all right? Cuando podemos aplaudir but still you can do it, all right? Es como una manera de animar. La mayoría de veces lo van a escuchar en los videos de YouTube, eh, cuando las personas dan el agradecimiento al, al patrocinador, all right? O cuando se le da agradecimiento a otra persona también. Shout out to you. Very good. Let's move on. Let's go with Jackie. Jackie, you are Path. Jen C. Valle, you are Julie. Action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it is not mine. Why is it mine? It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here is the problem. Is this no blue skin? Whose jeans are they? Oop, did I mind? Sorry. Very good job, excellent. That was great. I was able to feel your sorry. That was great, thank you. And that's the purpose, all right? For the purpose is for the listening to the listener to feel the conversation, right? El propósito es que aparte de ustedes que son los que están practicando, también la audiencia pueda sentir que en realidad lo están haciendo from heart and soul, right? De corazón y alma, right? You are delivering everything. Están entregando todo lo que pueden. That's great. Shout out to you. Let's go with Miguel pasó conmigo. All right. Eh, Lizeth, you haven't passed, right? Usted no ha pasado todavía, ¿verdad, Lizeth? No. Perfect. Usted va entonces con Lizeth Rodríguez. You are Path. Kevin, chicas, you are Julie. Action. Wait, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's, it's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is yours? No, it's not mine. Why is mine? It's a disaster. Oh no, all, blue, all clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine, sorry. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, Lisette. Great job. You have improved a lot. Ha mejorado muchísimo, Lisette, all right? Very good. 
thank you. I feel your confidence now. Ya la siento un poquito más eh, confiada, right? Como que ya no, no, no le da tanto pánico. <laughs> <laughs> And on the other hand, we have Kevin. Great job, Kevin. Your pronunciation as per usual. Great, all right? So, Lizette, continuamos trabajando en respetar los punctuation marks, all right? Teníamos okay. puntos suspensivos, teníamos que hacer la pausa. Okay. No, it's not mine. Wait. No, it's... No, it's not my weight. Exactly, very good, right? Sé que usualmente en, en nuestro idioma, en Spanish, más que todo en nuestro español salvadoreño, all right, que nosotros hemos generado, hablamos de corrido, and that happens to me either, all right? A eso me pasa hasta a mí inclusive. Pero in English, we need to make that point out. Very good job, let me check, who am I missing? We are missing Kevin Alexander. Kevin Alexander, you are Julie. William Castro, you are path, action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's our light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine, sorry. Perfect, nailed it. Wow, that was awesome. Listening to a pair of boys talking that way was incredible. Great job, both of you. Shout out to you, great job. All right, everyone, you have surprised me in today's class. Me han sorprendido en esta clase, all right? Usualmente hacen un trabajo excelente, pero ahora you are delivering your 100%. Hasta ahorita siento que me están dando el 100% de ustedes, and that's great, awesome. Now let's move on with the next one, colors. As you might have listened in the video, uh, we have these cool tones, all right? Podemos llamarles Tonos fríos, creo que son estos, right? They, they resemble the earth. También se les conoce como tonos tierra, okay? Because they resemble the, the sand, right? So let's check. We have white, dark gray. No, sorry, voy a ir de línea, okay? White, light gray, gray. Dark gray, beige. Light brown, brown. Dark brown, black. Okay, I know that some some of these colors for many people they look the same. Sé que para muchas personas estos colores eh, son parecidos, pero en realidad they have their own name. Cada degradación de color tiene su propio eh, su propio name, right? So let's try to call them that way. Let me have Manuel Campos, please tell me the vocabulary. Okay. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Let me have Miguel Angel, please tell me the colors. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige. Light brown, brown, dark brown, black. Perfect, thank you. Jackie, tell me the colors, please. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. Thank you. And Luis Rivas, you are the last one. Tell me the colors. White, light gray, gray. Dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Now, these are just some of the some of the colors that resemble the sand, right? Now let's check the next ones. <clears throat> Usually these ones are called warm tones. Creo que ya estos son los tonos cálidos, ¿ok? So let's check. We have red, pink, 
orange, yellow, light green. Aquí no aparecen los nombres, pero ustedes pueden hacer lo mismo que hicimos aquí, all right? Light brown, brown, dark brown. Lo mismo aplica aquí, aquí. Lo mismo aplica aquí. Light green, green, dark green. Light blue, blue, dark blue. Purple. Este, no me van a decir purple porque no existe el purple. 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 Let's listen to Kevin. Kevin what? Kevin Alexander, please. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Excellent. Perfect. Marvelous. Let's listen to Lizeth Rodriguez and after Lizeth, Daniel Rivera. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. All right, repeat, listen, purple. Purple. Como si esta en vez de U fuera O, purple. Purple. Perfect, there you go, <laughs> thank you. Let's go with Mr. Rivera. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Thank you so much. And let's go with the last one so we can move on. Y vamos con el último que sería Gen C Valle. Please, action. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. That's correct. Thank you. All right. No mistakes on the colors. So let's move on. We have the practice time. What are your favorite colors? Esta pregunta es tan plural, no es tan singular. Si yo les pregunto, hey, um, let me check, vamos a ver. Hey, Evelyn, what are your favorite colors? Evelyn tiene que responder en plural. All right, my favorite colors are red and purple. Y sé que de seguro va a salir alguno que me va a querer decir de un solo los colores, pero desde ya les digo, la estructura correcta de la oración es my favorite colors are, right? Si usted me dice, si yo le pregunto, what are your favorite colors? Si usted me dice pink, purple, red, that's not working for me. Eso no está funcionando para mí, right? Therefore, it won't work for you. Por ende, no va a funcionar para usted. So you gotta say, my favorite colors are. ¿Por qué, teacher? ¿Por qué tan estricta en esa parte? He notado que a algunos les cuesta la S. Entonces, entre más podamos pronunciar palabras con S, we better, all right? The, The more, the merrier. Entre más, es mejor, okay? So here we go. Uh, actually, let me ask Evelyn. Evelyn, which, no, what are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are orange and uh, light blue. Hey, perfect, nice. William Castro, tell me which are, no, sorry. What are your favorite colors? Sorry. My favorite colors are uh, blue and uh, green. All right, excellent, thank you. Kevin, chicas, what are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are black and orange. Ah, nice, nice. Manuel Hernandez, what are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are black and blue. Okay, nailed it, thank you. Yeah, it, actually black, it's like pretty, pretty common to wear, all right? Con el negro casi siempre combinamos todo, así que I understand when you say that black is your favorite color part of, okay? Uh, Mario Molina, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color are... Uh, colors. My favorite colors 
are aquamarine and purple. Wow, nailed it. That's great, thank you. Now, there you got it, everyone. Thank you so much. Solo practique esta pregunta con algunos, right? Let's move on with this, possessives. Let me check. Tengo un cuadrito super genial para ustedes que les voy a pedir que me lo coloreen. Ah, no, mentira. Okay, so let's check. We have the adjectives, possessive adjectives. Adjetivo possessivo, all right? So we have my, voy a sacar mi varita mágica, all right? My magic wand. Check. We have possessives, possessives adjectives, all right? No me lo vayan a confundir con los adjetivos que vieron la semana pasada, right? De a little heavy, short, small, no. No me lo vayan a confundir. Estos son possessive adjectives. Siempre tienen que llevar la po palabrita possessives. So we have my, your, his, her. Aquí no es er. No me vayan a decir er. Repito, no. Me vayan a decir air. Aquí es her, her, our, their, their, our, her, his, your, my. Veamos la oración porque hay una oración en conjunto. These are my socks. Estos son mis calcetines. These are your socks. Estos son tus calcetines. These are his socks. Estos son sus calcetines. These are her socks. Estos son sus calcetines. De nuevo, right? Solo que utilizamos el her cuando nos referimos a que le, lo posee una mujer, una persona del género femenino. These are our socks. Estos son nuestros calcetines. Calcetinos? Calcetines. These are their socks. Okay? Let's check. Then we have the pronouns. Por el, la, en la otra eh, column, otra columna, tenemos possessives pronouns. No los copien de aquí ahorita, okay? Ahorita solo enfoquémonos en la pronunciation. Después lo van a copiar de aquí. Right now, possessive pronouns. We have mine. Yours, his, hers, ours, theirs. Básicamente, si notan, el único que cambia entre el adjetivo posesivo y el pronombre posesivo es el my, con my. De ahí todos los demás son exactamente igual, pero varía porque se le agrega la s a the end. Eso es algo que les puede funcionar a ustedes para memorizárselos. Porque esto no es de conocerlos, esto es de memorizarlos, right? <coughs> Luego vamos. Theirs, ours, hers, his, yours, mine. These socks are mine. These socks are yours. These socks are his. These socks are hers. These socks are ours. These socks are theirs. Diferencia en traducción, teacher. All right. Si yo aquí digo, these are his socks. Estos son tus calcetines o sus calcetines. Aquí estoy diciendo, these socks are his. Estos calcetines son de él. All right. Ya ahí es más fácil distinguir el género de la persona porque utilizamos él o ella. Right? These socks are his. Estos calcetines son de él. These socks are hers. Estos calcetines son de ella. Ok. So, then we have names. Pat's blouse. Julie's jeans. Rex's t-shirt. Tenemos esta omission. Tenemos como esta... No quiero llamarlo omisión. Reducción. Esa es la palabra correcta. We have this reduction. Esta reducción. Cuando usted quiere utilizar el subject pronoun, el pronombre del sujeto, pero ya sustituido por un noun, como Pat, right? Pat es el nombre de una persona. 
pero usted quiere agregar el possessive adjective, quiere demostrar que eso, que ese objeto es de esa persona, es de Pat, pero no quiere utilizar el her. Entonces viene usted y agrega el name, the person, add apostrophe s, and that's it. Y eso es todo. All right. No nos confundamos con los plurales y con el verb to be. Cuando utilizamos verb to be, no lo utilizamos ligado al, al nombre de la persona. Eso es lo primero. Y cuando utilizamos eh, plurales, tampoco lo hacemos ligado al nombre de la persona. Yo no puedo decir pads hablando de que hay muchas pads, all right? No. Este pads específicamente apóstrofe S para decir la posición de pat, all right? So, I know it might seem long. Puede parecer largo, it is. And in certain way complicated. Y quizás en cierta manera un poquito complicado, pero con la práctica ya no lo van a sentir complicado. Okay? So, let's check. Let me start with. Vamos a iniciar con eh, Daniel Rivera. Please give me the possessive adjectives. Pero me los va a dar con la oración, Daniel, right? These are my socks. Y luego va a bajar hasta their action. Okay. These here. Okay. Sorry. These are my socks. These are your socks. This here, he sucks. This here, here sucks. This here. No, Repeat, this, these are. This, these are our socks. These are their socks. Very there. good. There, yes. Thank you, Donnie. That was correct. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente o el siguiente que sería. Eh, let me check. Jensi Valle, please give me the possessive pronouns, but with the sentence. These socks are da 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 da. da. These socks are mine. These socks are yours. These socks are his. These socks are hers. These socks are ours. These socks are theirs. Perfect. Thank you, Jensi. Let's go with David Rosales. Tell me names. Me va a dar esta parte de los names. La pregunta y la respuesta. Action. Hat blouse. Hat. Julie's. Jeans. Blouse. Blouse. Recuerde que tiene ese. Pats. Julie's. Pats. Ok, ok. Pats. Blouse. Julie's. Jeans. Rick's. T-shirt. Rex. Rex. T-shirt. <laughs> Let me check. Uh, Rex's. Oh, Rex's t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Whose blouse is this? It's Pat's. Whose jeans are these? They are Julie's. Congrats, bravo. Danny, you have a question. Let me know your question, please, or your comment. Yes. Um, um... Este, en las preguntas interrogativas, ¿cuándo sabemos que tendremos que hacer uso del us, who, perdón, el who o el us? Who's. En las preguntas que ha utilizado, porque de las que nos ha enseñado son who, el what, why, y el... El where, el, when. What, when. Uh -huh. El who, el who. El es válido usarlo, es válido usar también el who. Sí, claro, claro que sí, Dani. De hecho, lo utilizamos, por eso aparece hasta esta parte. Porque el who es para cuando queremos preguntar posesión. Whose jeans are these? Whose comment is that one? Whose cell phone is this? Y who es cuando ya es algo más personal, este, refiriéndose a una... A, con el who. 
usted o el cool lo puede utilizar para cualquier otro tipo de pregunta, pero cuando ya es possessive, si sí utilizamos el who. ¿Y para what y los demás? Ah, no, eso no. No, 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 no aplica, no cambia. Perdón, sí aplican, pero no cambian. Ok. Thank Por you. ejemplo, yo puedo decir una con el which. Which t-shirt is Rex's? ¿Cuál camisa es de Rex? Which t-shirt is Rex's? Right? All right. Thank you. Perfect. Another one? Alguien más que tenga una pregunta? Qué bueno que pregunta en esta parte, right? Um, no. Jensi? Yes, but I don't know this. Um, I ask is correct because that um, in, in other books or in other video, uh, usually that uh, the American people use them what a wish. But I, when I read um, the English book, um the example you compare that what is not useful and when no which because the which is when you compare the um two objects or two peoples mm, yes actually yes jesse but that's in british books right e no, yes, I, in books and then you said in english books yes we have two different two different English. We have British English and we have American English, which is the one that we are learning. Yes, but I when 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 I hear uh to speaking that in in American people use a language. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not common. It's, it's not common. Yes, it's, it's um um what? Uh -huh. You might have noticed this one. Esa es la diferencia, yeah. right? Por ejemplo, notó que yo a cada rato le decía which are, all right? Pero en realidad, they use what, right? Yes. Pero también está correcto decir which. Yes, it's correct. It's correct, but it's more useful that and what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens, Jensi. Very good. Yeah, and actually what he's mentioning is what actually uh, we tend to struggle. Lo que Jensi menciona es lo que usualmente eh, tendemos a, a batallar, all right? O a luchar. Entre lo que nuestro cerebro asimila y traduce versus lo que en realidad tendría que ser, right? What he says is true. You mostly use which when you are comparing two things, all right? Which one do you like, the blue one or the red one? You are, com you are uh, comparing two things. Yes. But yes, exactly what you mentioned. Very good. Thank you. And it's good that you read those things, Jensen. But in the other hand, we have what? which for some people is the same as which. Depending on your context, that's how you use it. Great point, excellent. Si me gusta, que ustedes siempre lean o busquen more information. All right, now, um, ya voy a poner a los demás a practicar con esto, but meanwhile, pero antes, I gotta take the attendance list. Tengo que tomar la lista de asistencia. Check. Okay. Let me check. We have today's May, 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 May authors. Beatriz Adriana, absent. Carlos Salvador, he's sick. Evelyn Flores. I'm here, teacher. Freddy Sebastián Franco. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz Meléndez. Present. José David Rosales. I'm here. Jose Mario Molina Delgado. Present. Carla Lisette Osorio Martínez. Karen, sorry. My bad. Fue mi culpa. Kevin Alexander Batres Deras. Present. Kevin Antonio Chicas Guevara. 
present. Um, Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear okay. you. Uh, Kevin Daniel Rivera Calderón. I'm here. Okay, let me check. Luis Alfonso Rivas. Present. Manuel Antonio Hernández. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. Marlene Elizabeth Rodriguez Aguilar. Present. Um, Manuel de Jesús Campos. I'm here. There you are. Okay, perfect. Miguel Ángel Galán. Present. Sandra Beatriz Avalos. She's absent. William Alexander Castro. Present. And Jensi Asensio Valle. I'm present. Very good, excellent. Let me check. Two, four. Okay, we only have four missing. Very good. Congratulations to the ones that are here. That's great. That says something good about you. Okay, let's move on with the next one. Uh, we're still in the PowerPoint, right? So here we go. So let me have Jackie, Jackie, tell me the possessive adjectives, please. The whole sentence, la oración completa, Jackie. These are my socks. These are, are your socks. These are his socks. These are her socks. These are our socks. These are their socks. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Um, let's have Kevin Alexander, please. Possessive pronouns, same sentence. These socks are mine. These socks are yours. These socks are his. These socks are hers. These socks are ours. These socks are theirs. Thanks a lot. Let's go with the last one. Um, Evelyn Flores, names. Max Blows, Julius Jeans, Rex T-shirt. Question and answer. Okay. Whose blouse is this? It's Pat's. Whose jeans are these? They're Julie's. Perfect. Thank you so much, the three participants. All right, let's move on to the next one. My favorite. Mi cuadro favorito, right? Porque está... Super explicativo. There's no way to lose it. No hay manera en la cual perderlos. Usualmente, tenemos, tendemos a confundir el subject pronoun con el possessive adjective y el possessive pronoun. Yo sé que aquí en el cuadro solo dice adjectives y pronouns, pero tiene que decir possessive adjective y possessive pronouns, all right? Así que ahí ustedes cuando estén haciendo su cuadrito, porque todos tienen que tener ese cuadrito, escríbanle possessive. All right, the palabrita que tiene aquí arriba, possessives. Okay, so let's move on. When you are using the subject pronoun, cuando esté utilizando el subject pronoun, porque con todas las oraciones, les iniciamos con el sujeto del pronombre, all right? O inclusive, a veces les iniciamos, como veíamos aquí, pats, con el name de la persona o del animal o de la flor o de whatever you're using, o de lo que sea que se esté utilizando, all right? Entonces, if you are using I, you must follow the sentence with my, mine, you, your, yours, he, his, his, she, her, hers, it, its, 
it's we, our, ours, they, their, theirs. Okay, so let me have, voy a necesitar a three participants. Tres participantes. Vamos a tener a Lisette Rodríguez como subject pronouns, David Rosales como possessive adjectives y Mario Molina como possessive pronouns. Um, los tres tienen que tener abierto el micrófono al mismo tiempo, right? Comienza Lisette, eh, secunda David y termina Mario. Action. One and My. 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 You. Your, yours, he, his, his, she, her, hers, it, it. it. Permítanme, he said it. It. No tiene it. 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 No, me le está poniendo la S, solo es it. It, it. it. It, it, we, our, ours, they, their, theirs. Bravo, marvelous. That was marvelous. Maravilloso. All right. Thank you so much, the three of you. Let's go with the next round. Vamos con las siguientes parejas. Eh, bueno, los siguientes tríos. Eh, Miguel Ángel, subject pronouns, Daniel Rivera, possessive adjectives, Luis Rivas, possessive pronouns, la misma dinámica que siguieron sus compañeros. Action. Hi. My. My. You. Your. Yours. He. His. His. She. Here. Here. It. It's. It. We. Are. Ours. They. Their. Theirs. Magnificent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with this next round. Vamos con la siguiente, right? Con los siguientes. William Castro, subject pronouns. Eh, Jacqueline, possessive adjectives. Manuel Hernández, possessive pronouns. Action. I. My. My. You. Your. Yours. He. His. His. She. Her. Her. It. 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 We. Our. Ours. They. Their. Theirs. Excellent. Thank you. Congrats. Now, listen up, everyone. You might be wondering, probablemente se estén preguntando, teacher, ¿y esto cómo se va a utilizar? ¿Cuándo y cómo? ¿En qué posición? ¿Dónde lo aplico? ¿Dónde lo eh, posiciono? All right. Tomorrow we are going to see that. Mañana vamos a ver. Tengo las estructuras. Tengo preparado todo para eso, right? Uh, we have the information. We have the structures. We have the practice. But so far, ahorita lo que sí me interesa es cómo estamos pronunciando eso, all right? Porque podemos eh, dar un malentendido a una persona si nos mezclamos el possessive adjective con el possessive pronoun. Así que el último trío que voy a pasar va a ser Kevin Chicas con possessive pronouns. Evelyn Flores, usted no ha pasado, right? Ok, I think you okay. have. It. Usted va a ser possessive adjectives y Jensi vaya Jensi usted no ha pasado en esta actividad right? no you are possessive product same dynamic misma dinámica ¿quién comienza? 
¿Dónde está Kevin? Kevin Alexander. La señora murió. Sí, se murió. Pero era un morenito. Ajá. Dijo Kevin arriba. Ah. Uno puede haber dicho Kevin arriba. Tal vez Kevin. Thank you, Kevin Alexander. Kevin, chicas, your mic. Kevin, where were you? ¿A dónde ha estado, compañero? What happened? A pronoun. Sí, pero tienen que seguir una secuencia con sus compañeros. La actividad la hemos trabajado así, ya van pasando cuatro grupos. Where were you? ¿A dónde andaba? Uh, yes, that's true. Ok. Primero inicia usted con el subject pronoun. Luego le sigue Evelyn y luego le sigue Jensi hasta llegar abajo. Action. Okay. I. My. Mine. You. Your. Yours. He. His. His. She. Her. Hers. It. 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 We. Oh. Ours. They. They. Theirs. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, my dear students, I won't take any longer from your time. Thank you so much for coming, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. 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 Bye.